I could not wait for March the 19th to finally occur on a Sunday. Now, today is March the 18th, but tonight's Mass is the anticipated Mass for tomorrow for Sunday. And traditionally in the Catholic Church, March the 19th is known as the Feast of St. Joseph. And St. Joseph is the protector and the provider for Jesus. Now, St. Joseph protected Jesus from the time he was born all the way to, to the point where Jesus became a young man before St. Joseph himself died. He also provided for Jesus, and he made sure that Jesus would have shelter, and Jesus would always have something to eat. And back in biblical days, the main form of sustenance was bread. Now, there's a, a strong tradition in many Catholic churches, not to say this occurs in every Catholic church, but in the Feast of St. Joseph, to bless and distribute what is known as St. Joseph bread, in honor of St. Joseph, who provided food and shelter for his son, our Savior Jesus Christ. So tonight we're going to distribute St. Joseph bread every one of Mass tonight. But before we get to that point, let's just watch a little video that kind of describes in greater detail the incredible life and the important life of St. Joseph. Who would you choose to raise your baby boy? Certainly an established family, educated, perhaps wealthy, in order to offer the best possible environment and the opportunity for your child. Why then did God choose St. Joseph? from among all men in the world to take this daunting task. St. Joseph was an older man, a village carpenter, a widower. Why entrust him with the childhood and youth of not just an ordinary child, but the savior of the world? St. Joseph, although recognized as a worker, had no riches, no rewards. He was not even a leader in the community. Although of royal lineage, a son of the house of David, he lived a meager existence, working with his hands in a remote village in Nazareth. How was he to foster, guide, and protect the one who was to be the redeemer of humankind? When the angel appeared to Joseph, he knew of the danger that would come to young unwed Mary and her baby boy, as well as ridicule and his own ostracism. His first instinct was to quietly withdraw and resume his humble life but he was a man of honor, and he had a resounding love of God. Perhaps that was all he needed. A little family was required to travel. Bethlehem for census, a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, settling in Nazareth, taking refuge in Egypt to avoid the deathly commands of Herod. This quiet, spiritual man raised the Son of God as his own. We know that St. Joseph taught Jesus his craft and they work side by side in the trade. We only get to witness the loving care and fatherly concern when he and Mary searched for Jesus after he was missing for three days, finally finding him teaching in the temple. We usually see Joseph depicted in church art in the background, standing guard as a gentle protector. Tradition tells us that before Jesus entered his public life, St. Joseph died a peaceful death in the arms of Mary and Jesus. St. Joseph is honored as a protector of our church and is celebrated on two feast days, May 1st as the worker and on March 19th as the husband of Mary. And tribute the, uh, the ashes, or not the ashes, the bread tonight. And my mind's on Ash Wednesday. As we distribute the bread this evening, I would just ask you to come forward. My servers will acquire a basket, and we'll be standing here just like uh, you'd come forward to receive communion at Mass. Uh, once you receive your bread, naturally go back to your pew. Uh, this evening, uh, tonight, if you have that bread with your meal, or if you have it maybe tonight or tomorrow, as you partake of your St. Joseph bread, I would ask you just to think about not only how Joseph provided for Jesus, but more importantly, how Jesus provided for all of us. Naturally, at Mass tonight, we're going to receive the heavenly bread from Jesus. And St. Joseph provided the earthly bread. But clearly, Jesus has given all of us blessings. As Joseph provided shelter and food for Jesus, Jesus provides shelter and food for all of us. So when you do eat your bread tonight and tomorrow, just take some time thinking about the blessings, the gifts, the shelter, the food that you have in your life. My service, if you acquire your baskets.
And then please come forward right down the aisles as you would to receive communion.
As you're holding your bread in your hand, we're going to offer a little blessing. So if our tech people would put the blessing for the St. Joseph bread onto the wall. And uh, just make sure you have your bread in your hand. And we'll pray this uh, blessing prayer together. Together, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we commemorate St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, and the provider for the Holy Family, we ask you to bless our St. Joseph bread. St. Joseph, who through hard work and immense love, provided many meals for his wife Mary and his son Jesus. The main staple for each meal provided and served was bread. May the yeast in this bread help us to grow in our faith. May the wheat in this bread help us to stand tall in our faith. May we eat this bread today, thinking not only of all those in our lives that have provided for us, but all those in our lives who have taken care of us. May the blessing of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon our St. Joseph bread. And may the power of your love, your kindness, and your mercy be with us as we consume sometime today the bread of St. Joseph. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 